another day, another kitchen. Originally this was just gonna be a chatting video about stress and the menstrual cycle, but look at these, are dying to be cooked. Got a bit of sourdough that also needs to go somewhere. Um, so I'm making a little banana bread while we chat. <laughs> Who does one thing at once? This recipe is an experiment, so I can't give it to you yet, but there is a banana bread recipe on my website that I will link in case you wanna try. Let's get started. Gonna start with a little banana smash. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. And talking about stress. Stress is a big topic, like what even is stress? The truth is, it means something different to all of us and it means something different to all of our bodies. Our little slimy babies. Let's mash these up. A little bit lumpy because I like that. Vanilla and brown sugar. Oh, stress to me is when your body feels like it is under threat, like its survival is being compromised, um, it's fear-based, you can feel like the discomfort rising up and it comes in so many different forms. The thing about our bodies is that as smart as they are, they are also very, they're simple, they're to the point, and they're trying to help you live in the most efficient way possible. When it comes to stress, your body has trouble deciphering what is actually life-threatening versus what's just like a Monday morning avoidant spell. Stress to your body can look like your life is actually in danger. It can look like your blood sugar is all over the place and you're experiencing glucose highs and lows. It can be inflammation in your body. It can be... Um, you're watching a scary movie. It can be you are avoiding an email from your boss. Stress takes many shapes and forms on your body. It is not just one thing, but it is seen under the same light and responded to in the same way by your body. Stress is identified as the root cause of hormone imbalance, but also autoimmune disease, gut issues, and mental health disparities. That's like all our problems, so where is this coming from? Nice banana-y, vanilla-y, vanilla smush. The first thing that's happening with stress playing such a big role in our illnesses is that it is stressful to be a human in modern Western society. Like, there's a lot of noise going on, physically like loud and just like emotionally there's just like chaos in the air not to be like hippie hippie rah rah um fuck the man and fuck capitalism but capitalism as a concept is stressful it prioritizes production and doing and what have you completed what do you have to offer me um which is totally the opposite of our menstrual cycle, of appreciating the journey, of acknowledging that rest is part of the process. These two systems are in complete misalignment. And because one, capitalism is so valued over the other, that is going to put stress on our bodies. But it's not just the ladies, like there's a rise in autoimmune and mental health for men as well. Really just not appreciating slow living like that things take time and step by step and we learn and we fail and then we try again and that is what life is instead we're put in a position where it's just go 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 high performance until you burn out and because we're always supposed to be constantly on there's no time to really like process your emotions and manage how you react to things also in our modern society as we've already talked about the food choices are not necessarily conducive to making you feel grounded and giving, making sure that your nutrient gaps are completely filled. And everything that we talked about for menstrual cycle food 
having steady glucose, reducing inflammation, and filling all those nutrient gaps, that is what creates a grounded and stable body. Not only is it the diet for menstrual cycle health, that is the diet to combat stress. But that's not how most of us are taught to eat. That is not the normal for going out to eat. And we have to have a little bit extra intention and make sure that we're checking those boxes so that at least our body isn't getting stressed out on the food front. Now we can put half of the blame on modern society but like let's be real we're not changing that overnight what is actually in our control and that is our relationship to stress the way that we react to stress is an even bigger factor than the stress that is in front of us i mentioned how a like a work email you avoiding a work email creates that stress response in the body what is that like that is just a message in your inbox. It's kind of nothing, it's like basically no value, but then it's like the value that you put onto it and the pressure that you put onto it that is actually the stress on your body. This is what we call perceived stress. So it's basically not to invalidate because we all do it, but it is stress that we make up in our head and we make it so big and our body believes us, like why shouldn't it? And it seems like a really big deal, it seems like our survival depends on it, and it's all in our head. This is great news, if it's in our head, we have the power to change it. We have the power to change our perspective, change how we react. Next I'm gonna go in with some eggs and the sourdough. Olive, chocolate chips, this is one of my favorite things to add to any really like baked good, it's a little bit of crunchy whole, either whole grain, like this is buckwheat, or you could do seeds, like pumpkin, sesame, and one of my favorite hacks because it's like adds flavor, adds a really nice texture of crunch, adds a whole bunch of nutrients like magnesium and some like protein. With the seeds we get healthy fats and it's not like a big thing to add. A win from like that foody flavor perspective but then also for your hormone health. Ooh, it's getting dark. To go alongside the banana bread, I want to do a whipped miso honey butter. A little extra fat with our treat, a little extra probiotic, and all the benefits of raw honey. This is not soft enough. Now, what is really going on with stress and the menstrual cycle? On my website, I have this blog post called Stress and the Menstrual Cycle. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Like my biggest hormone imbalance issue was 100% related to my diet and definitely sleep is something I can work on and movement I was bringing in more of. Like I, I was understanding those three uh, aspects and like in my mind, I understood how stress played a role, but I had never experienced it firsthand about like stress fucking up your menstrual cycle. <laughs> this summer, summer 2023, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what's going on in the sky, but it was like Venus retrograde and like this thing's happening. It was all it was crazy, <laughs> but we survived. But my stress was so bad, I had gone to uh, like a pharmacy in Europe in order to get your insur your health insurance you need to get like your blood pressure checked and your heart checked and 
I went to the pharmacy to get that done and they were like, um, were you just working out or like, no, 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 no. I had taken a light flat walk, rare for Lisbon, but a light flat walk one minute from my house to get there. Hadn't worked out at all. They were like, oh yeah, your heart rate is like crazy. It's like off the charts. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> As if that didn't stress me out more. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, that was, that was the summer of stress and it showed 100% in my menstrual cycle. Like, you can even go back through my TikTok, I'm like, I'm bloated during ovulation. I, like, I didn't uh, lose my period at all, but it was a little bit shorter, definitely, like, more on the pink side. Um, just not what I'm used to. I started doing cycle syncing almost three years ago now, and since, like, from the start to this summer, I had just, had just, total consistency like the most consistent thing in my life was my menstrual cycle and yeah stress is crazy but <laughs> where am I going with this yes so I had written that post at like the beginning it, it was like a month before all of this happened and I was just like well thank god I wrote about this because I'm gonna go in and like help use my like use my own medicine to help myself and it definitely did, like just being able to have the awareness of like oh this is what's going on in my body this is what's happening and here's how I can go in and it's these same hacks like here's how I can go in and support myself without spending a bunch of money without like having to take um medication or anything like that I can just make these changes in my life and we're back baby like things have changed but what got me through that time was that stress post um, so if you want a huge deep dive, it talks about like what your autonomic nervous system is. That's your like flight or fight, res fight or flight response and the HPA axis and adrenal fatigue. All of that in such detail is over on katieflower.com. The, the post is called stress in the menstrual cycle. I will link it. That's going to be the full deep dive story for the moment, for this video's sake. All you really need to take away is that when stress enters the scene, your body is like, we need to handle this. Like we need to, I wanna live, I wanna survive. I need to take care of this. And it takes energy away from what it deems as like elective body function. So that's things like uh, your hair growing, your nails, um, your like digestion and gut health, like how you go to the bathroom and also your reproductive health is considered a secondary priority when stress is on the scene uh it makes sense it's like your body is like <laughs> i'm trying to survive i'm not going to have a child right now i just need to make sure i'm okay and totally makes sense we get why she does it with our lifestyles and being in chronic high stress when your body is constantly cannot get out of these states of like i need to conserve for myself that's where the problem comes because that's a lot of time where um all these elective functions are not being they're not getting that input they're not getting the resources to do their job that's why like when you're stressed out you have like your skin's not as gray and your hair can be like falling out or not growing. When your body is in chronic high stress that we see the problem, this is what is the root cause of the hormone imbalance. And by helping our body regulate out of, out of this state, so whether that is returning to rest and digest mode, which you can learn about in that post, or reducing the need for cortisol and giving your adrenal glands a break, again, you can learn more about that in the post taking our body out of these high stress states and bringing it back to safety, that is when your menstrual cycle gets to step into the light again and get all the resource it needs to properly function. Could wait for this to soften, but I am impatient. To the microwave. <laughs> so our miso, my body can be a little bit sensitive towards soy. I've seen um, like alternative misos made with chickpeas and stuff, I love those. Uh, but today this is what I have so I'm gonna give it a go. I am on my period so if I was gonna eat soy like it is gonna be during this phase.
Umami. We got our raw honey. I want to find the study. There's like a really in-depth study on honey and all the different parts of it. This doesn't have um, the royal jelly or anything in it. It's just a local cute little Massachusetts raw honey. Look at this. But it's made with love. Remember that I forgot to put on the timer for the bread. <laughs> I may have mentioned this before, but I do love me some Italian culture. <laughs> and the best word of all time. I might have said this about the pasta shop, I think. <laughs> One of the best words of all time in the Italian language it's gotta be allora. And it just fits in so nicely to situations like that. It's my it's my stress band-aid instead of actually that's how I react to stress. That's my ideal way to act to stress react to stress. It's just give it an allora. It's like a band-aid freaking out. <laughs> what it means is like I think it's like well, but to me it's like it is what it is. Look at me, making the language whatever I want it to be. This is a lazy, a lazy whip with a fork. <laughs> and it's gonna be delish. And a little flaky salt. Ooh. It looks like three absolute queens in that oven. This week, the hacks that we're going through each day are really all about helping your body return to safety. We're gonna tap into that idea that we can reduce so much of our stress by just changing the way that we look at the triggers in front of us. We've got a little breathwork lesson. We're going to talk about the power of building routines and organization in your life, um, going out into nature and eating in a way really going back to the lessons of the first week, but eating in a way that creates stability in your body on a metabolic level. 